This is Fox News First. Well, we often hear about breast cancer, but there's a lot of other cancers out there that greatly affect the body. Chris Sandahl and 10-year pancreatic cancer survivor Susan Martinez with the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network are joining me to talk about it. And today's a huge day for you, Susan. Can you tell us a little bit about your story? Well, 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, I had my surgery, but at that point, I didn't know how this was all going to play out, and then it was stage one. I was very blessed. 28 years ago, my dad died of the disease. So that was really hard for me, thinking, oh, I don't have much time, but they caught it in time. So That's amazing. What do you attribute to maybe the fact that you were able to succeed, and you can now today say, I've been free of this for 10 years? I think it was just everybody, the doctors, everybody just looking, really looking for everything that my symptoms thought I had, gallbladder attack, and then they knew of my history with my dad, and then they just further checked and just kept checking and doing testing. So just being kind of aware of the situation and paying attention to your body. And Chris, now I know that you work a lot with this. What would you say that if you're advising people, some of the preventative measures are the things they need to look for? Well, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it more aware of pancreatic cancer and be able to find early detection and do clinical trials, and that's what our funds go towards. And let me just throw a number out here. If somebody told you you had a 6% chance of getting the job you always wanted or a 6% chance of your team winning the national championship, you probably wouldn't feel too confident about your chances. And right now, if a doctor tells you you have pancreatic cancer, they're basically telling you you have a 6% chance of survival. Right. And it's wow. just so scary. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find better ways for early detection. We're trying to find better ways to fight it. And the Purple Stride is our main event, and that's where we raise the most amount of money and most awareness uh, to, to getting clinical trials and to helping families that are dealing with pancreatic cancer and to really come together as a community and try to make that number six go way higher and have more cases like Susan here, who's, who's truly a, a story of inspiration and hope. Well, and, you know, breast cancer awareness gets so much publicity, but a lot of people may not understand exactly why pancreatic cancer is so severe and what it affects. Obviously, it's the pancreas, but can you explain just a little more about it? Well, it's so hard to detect because by the time that you have back pain or other little symptoms like that, it could mask other things. And you think, oh, it's just something else. And it's kind of too late at that point. And there's no early detection test or anything yet. Right. And part of that is if you think about breast cancer now, um, there's so much awareness, there's so much funds, and, and it wasn't always as treatable as it is. And so what we're really trying to do is get the same momentum and try to build um, towards finding different ways to cure it and different ways to find it. Because that's what's so scary about it. When you find it, sometimes it can just take you so quickly because you didn't even know it was there. I mean, Susan's story is great, but sometimes people only have a couple of months once they actually find out what's going on with them. Well, we want people to be able to get out there and help. So just remember that on November 15th at Rotama Park, you can get out and you can attend the Purple Stride Walk. And again, you can head over uh, for some details on that to our website at foxsanantonio.com. We'll have those for you a little later in the day. So again, that's a walk that you can plan to attend. And congratulations. Thank you for being here. Thank We're you. super excited, <laughs> excited about your success and hope that we can help solve some other people who also may have the uh, same situation ongoing in their life. But here's